it's Minor Marcus 7, and I'm back to you with another tutorial on how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. And, um, so this time, it's going to be advanced movement. So, let's get, let's get right into it. So, you're going to want to go to your first camera sprite. For me, it's the stage. Next, you're going to want to go to here. When I receive office, wait, and as long as you, and then pick random, and then as long as you want. I'm going to, what, I'm going to put 20 to, uh, 20, 25 seconds. I don't know why. And then switch costume to costume 2. Okay. And also just... Just in there. Next, for the next sprite you want your uh, character to go to, um, let's say I want to go make him go over here or over here. Um, hold on. All right. So let's say you want to make him go to Cam Two. So you just select Cam Two. Um, and just go to events, and then drag, uh, drag this into here. And now, and uh, you, yeah, you gotta make sure that the person who comes in is the person who left. So the, let's say the person who left is uh this orange fellow right here. I just forgot his name. Dang it. Uh. But, then you go to whatever costume they're at, they go to, and switch costume, costume on, then costume whatever this, the character who removed is at. Alright, and let's say you want someone to move after them. So, yeah. Okay, so... That, that's where the uh, broadcasting comes in, so... Broadcast, um... Since I just forgot their names, I'm just gonna call it, uh... Orange... Move. <laughs> Alright. And now, just broadcast, and then... Whatever you... whatever. Uh, where is it? Orange Move. Uh, can't find it. Actually, no, it's not that. It's when I receive orange move. I'm sorry. I receive orange move. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Spent like a, like a few minutes trying to find it. Okay, when I receive orange move, switch costume, costume 3, and then wait as long as you want, I'm just going to keep it as 20 to 25 seconds, and switch costume to costume 1, or whatever, or a costume with someone in it. I'm just going to make it switch costume to co costume 1, to make it more realistic, even though I'm, I'm not the best at realism. <laughs> and I'm going to call it... Orange moves again. One. Orange move again. One. Save. And for here, I'm going to put when I receive orange move again. One. Wait, 0 0.1 seconds. Switch costume to costume three. Save. And if it's only one night, then all of them can move. But if it's like two nights, then you're gonna have to like make it set it somehow to like where like the last pers person moves on like the last or second to last or whatever night. Right now, I'm just doing one night just as like a dem demonstration. But anyways. 
Yeah, when I see orange move again, so we're fasting fasting three, which is this. All right. So. Let's see. When I see orange move again, one. Okay, now there's two ways to do this where uh, you have to save quite frequently. Uh, so there's two ways to do this. You could just put it here or put it here. I'm going to show you both ways. So wait, 20, 25 seconds. Switch costume to costume 2 or something or any costume with someone in it that isn't a last person or the main character. And uh... <laughs> Yeah, and it's gonna broadcast, uh, <laughs> blue, gone, or whatever. Alright, and there's two ways to do this. You can do it like this, or like this. I'm just gonna do it in both ways. Leave now. I hope it doesn't ruin it or anything. Because this and right here do the same thing. So, yeah. Even though, actually, I'm just gonna. Just gonna get. I'm just gonna put this right here. Going. So it doesn't ruin. Mess anything up or something. Mm -hmm. And you can change these numbers right here if you want them. Just, actually, I'm going to change them right now, so I'm going to do 19 to 20, not 120, no, that's too much, 20, there we go. Okay, well, uh, and that, and, so, so I, it's cam 3, okay, so cam 4, I guess, uh, when I receive orange move again, switch, switch is wait zero point, zero point one seconds. Switch costume to costume. Uh, oh, I forgot to put. Actually, I think orange. The orange guy, yeah, the orange guy goes for this right here. So, costume number two. So not here. You get your baba. No, I'm not. Uh, not uh, here. But here. And make it switch costume to costume one. And I'm gonna have to stop recording for a second because it's almost uh, ten minutes is almost up. So uh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna have to edit both uh, thing. I'm gonna have to edit both footages together. Well, footages, footage together. Um, so it's gonna look like this, and um, yeah, and it's gonna go to. Wait, did I put costume one? It's supposed to be costume two. And, uh, oh yeah, and, uh, and this is, like, if you, like, added, like, a foxy-like character to the game. Like, someone who just runs down the hall like this. I'll show you how to do that in, uh, maybe another tutorial. Uh, maybe, uh, ne the next tutorial is gonna be how to make a trailer for your game. Um, and, I guess, m movements for uh, your character that runs, runs down the hall, if you want one that runs down the hall. So yeah, orange move again and this is So you got so you got the basic idea. You just keep doing it until they reach like somewhere near your office. And if you've seen my uh, first very first tutorial, which was how to do movement, you would know how, how to make them show up at your door. Um and then like when the light is on, they would appear, and then when the light would be off, they would disappear. I'll I'll leave a link to that video in the description. 
uh, so you could like make it where like your character would just go to your door and uh, everything and everything. So and like when you close the door, they would go away and stuff. All right, so uh, thanks for watching and um, bye.